mission at Mission San Francisco de Assis. This mission is interesting because it has two names. The second name is Mission Dolores. The second name comes from a nearby creek called A Lady of Sorrows Creek. In Spanish, the word Dolores means sorrows. This mission was founded on June 29, 1776. Its founders were Jose Moraga and Father Francisco Palau. The main Indian tribe at this mission were the Olom. I will now take you on a guided tour of this mission. So I'll show, show you this drawing. Here's the courtyard in the middle, the friars' living quarters, workshops, church that says cemetery and then surrounding it all is the garden let me show you some adobe bricks what is adobe adobe is a mixture of straw clay water and sometimes manure here we are in the chapel um it is the only intact chapel out of the 21 missions and it it, um, it is the oldest building in San Francisco, and the cemetery is the only cemetery in San Francisco. It, uh, the walls are made of adobe bricks, and it is 21 feet wide, and 114. And 114 feet long. The founder of this mission is buried here in the mission, right here. This diorama was created for the 1939 World's Fair, and this is what the mission used to look like. Around? Around, around the... F around 17... Around 1791. And what's this creek here? This creek, like I mentioned before, is the... is the Lady of Sorrows Creek. Okay, um, the church is on the left, the convent is in the front, and the granary is on the right. This is a basilica. Basilica. Um, it means it is a special church for the Pope. This window pictures Father Francisco of Assisi. Um, that's what the um, mission was named after. That's why it's called Mission San Francisco de Assis. It's dark, so you might not be able to see it, but up there is Our Lady of Sorrows. Her name is? Her name is Dolores. And then this is what? This is, is the altar. This is the altar. The Spanish knew they needed help to build the mission. They kept the Olón Indians interested by showing them Spanish tools and ways of building. Many trees were chopped down and cut into planks for the buildings. Small wood carts pulled by animals like oxen or mules were used to bring wood we used to bring wood planks to the mission site. The brick walls were made of, oh wait, no. Okay. Brick walls were made of adobe bricks. It wasn't just the Olo men that learned how to, how to make adobe bricks. The Olo men, women, and children taught, were taught how to, how to stomp on the mixture and pour it into wooden molds to make adobe bricks.
The bricks had to be dried in the sun, and when they became hard, they could be used to build the mission. After the earthquake in 1906, this is what the mission looked like. <laughs> this chair is from the 18th century, so that would make it about 300 years old today. Over 300 years old, actually. The Olon kept returning to the mission site because they were interested in the Spanish trinkets and tools. Here are some of the trinkets, and over here are some of the tools. Okay. Keep reading from the card. Okay. Um, these were very different from the Olon way of life. The Spanish continued to give the Olon little trinkets like beads, and the Olon would keep coming back and bringing shellfish and wild seeds for the Spanish. Many Olon Indians became sick with Spanish diseases like the measles and smallpox. These diseases were not common in Alta California before the Spanish arrived. When the Spanish arrived to build the missions, they brought these diseases with them. The Olun got very sick because their bodies had no immunity to these new diseases. This tool right here is a grinding rock. Right there. And over here, we have some necklaces that the Spanish made for the Indians. And right here, we have some arrowheads. This is a diorama of an Indian's village in 1775. This is um, Fray Junipero Serra. He was the founder of all the Californian missions. of fiesta or festivals for things like weddings, births, and important church events, the Olon were asked to perform in their native to perform their native dances in their traditional clothing for visitors. Daily life at the mission for the Olon was sometimes hard and frustrating. The Olon didn't didn't want to stay at the mission all the time, but they were told they could not leave. It was hard for the Spanish, too, because they missed their life in Spain. New Spain had different weather and different living quarters. It was much more rustic and simple than their homes in Spain. Living in New Spain was at Mission Dolores was often, was often like a step backwards. The beds were made of simple wood cots with a scratchy blanket for warmth. The food was often boring and bland. Here we are in the cemetery. And what's special about the cemetery? The cemetery is special because it's the only one in San Francisco. An average day lasted about six hours, and it started with sunrise mass. After mass, the Olon ate breakfast. Then they moved on to their jobs for the day. The jobs for men were plowing and growing crops. The missionaries taught the Olon how to create goods for trade. The jobs for women were knitting, cooking, and dressmaking. All the workers at the... Uh, all the workers took a break for lunch, and after lunch came the daily nap called a siesta. After the siesta, work began again for a very short period in the afternoon. Before supper, there was another mass to, to attend in church, in the church. The, the days ended with more prayers 
learning about church, learning the Spanish language, and some time to relax before bed. This is a hut built by the Indians, made from willow tree that has been stripped of its bark, and it lasts about three or four years until the Indians have to build a new one. Imagine what the Indians had to sleep in here. They had to sleep on the floor, and it wasn't the, be the best comfortable position for them, I bet. I hope you had a good time um, learning about Mission San Francisco de Asis with me, um, and you enjoyed my video.